Hi guys, super excited for you to be here today. You are going to be planning out my 2020 with me. Um, for 2019, my word of the year was thrive and I really wanted to make the most of my year and thrive as much as I could. It was challenging at times and it was definitely not the word that I stuck to all year. Um, and quite often I felt like I was going backwards rather than thriving. So this year I've decided for 2020, I'm going to kind of develop on the word thrive and I'm going to use words like flourish and growth and blossom because I really think it's important to just keep kind of moving forward. So I got the Amy Tangerine and Archer and Olive notebook as a gift and um, I, I could not be more excited. Um, I was asked to have a look at it and review it and use it and I have and I honestly could not have anticipated that I would have loved it this much. The design is beautiful, the paper is amazing and I'm so excited to start using this intention setting first couple of pages and that's what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going through just a really simple process of putting my thoughts to paper for my goal of intention setting for 2020 so let's get started The first thing I want to do is I want to take all of my Amy Tangerine stickers and I'm going to start kind of collecting them together so that I can choose the best stickers that I want to use in the actual planner. So I'm just kind of combining a bunch and I'm putting them on a spare sheet of sticker paper so that I can peel them off easily and kind of create a theme around what I want to um, or how I kind of want it to look. Once I'm happy with the stickers I've selected, it's now time for me to start placing them onto my planner and starting to put my intentions and goals into the planner as well. Placing them in kind of a really busy feel is going to remind me to have more fun this year and be more creative. I absolutely love making a messy feel type of journal because I am naturally a messy writer. So happy to create more in that space. What is your word of the year this year? Why don't you pop them down in the comments and we can all share our word of the year. It's now time to start putting pen to paper. Here I'm using my Kelly Creates pens. I absolutely love these pens. They've got a beautiful hard thick tip on one end and a beautiful thin soft tip on the other end. This year I'm going to call it the year of prosperity and I'm going to write in there that I want to flourish, grow and thrive more. Then I'm going to go on to kind of the dreams. I want to be a household name for crafts in New Zealand and I want to land a kajillion more sponsorship deals and I really want to take this more full time than I'm currently doing at the moment. How I'm going to get there is I'm going to plan out exactly what it is that is going to help me achieve that long term. So here in my goals section I'm going to put down a step by step with little mini goals for me to reach long term to be able to achieve that goal this year. Let's finish it off with a couple extra embellishments and once we're done with that we can check into this regularly because it's right at the front of my planner and I can make sure that I check and make sure that I'm meeting all of my goals throughout the year. As always, thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate you being here. You can find us on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook and all the other regular places. Feel free to reach out to us on email or even pop us a DM on Instagram. See you next time.